to do things and you never come through. You're just plain unreliable. Oh, come on, Sonia. Give me one more chance. I'll do anything. Go out with me tonight. Let me show you just how reliable this cat can be. Anything, Heathcliff? Sure, Sonia. You got something in mind? Okay, Heathy. I'll go out with you tonight. But you have to do something for me while I pretty myself up for our date. Oh, sure thing, Sonia. Whatever you want. This is my favorite nephew, Egbert. You're going to babysit for him today while I get ready for tonight. Aren't you, Heathcliff? <laughs> uh, so, Egbert, uh, what do you do for fun? Uh, when I was a kid, we used to have a real good time playing with yawn, chasing mice. Uh, you like to do those things? No, you don't like to do all of those swell kitten things? Then uh, what do you like to do? Well, Uncle Heathcliff, I am deeply involved in the studies of anthropological discoveries of ancient Egypt. Aside from that... Hasn't anyone ever taught you how to be a cat? Why, no. Uh, come to think of it, no one ever has. No one ever has? You mean no one ever taught you to catch mice? To catch fish? To dump trash cans? To steal milk? To be a cat? Well, you just leave it to your Uncle Heathcliff. I'm gonna teach you everything I know. That really isn't necessary, Uncle Heathcliff. It's no problem, Egbert. It'll be fun. Okay, Egbert, now you get a chance to see the master go to work. Uh, you gotta pay attention. This really isn't necessary, Uncle Heathcliff. You don't have to thank me, Egbert. I'm happy to help you out. Uh, hey, you! Oh, ta -da. Oh, take that! Oh. Oh, oh. Time to split. Come back here, you rotten cat. <laughs> now that's how you swipe a fish. Eh, not too bad, huh, Edward? Huh? Ah, but, but how? It's really quite simple, Uncle Heathcliff. If you know anything about the theories of magnetic force, you would surely understand. Cats! Uncle Spike, let's get him! Let's get him! Hey, hey. Say, what do you call that, Heathcliff? Uh, this is Sonia's nephew, Egbert. Egbert? Ha ha! What kind of a name is Egbert for anybody? Actually, Egbert comes from the ancient Roman name Egusius, meaning one who eats liver. One who eats liver? 
Looks like you ain't been getting your share lately. This here is my nephew, Rocky. Ain't he something, ain't Cliff? Uh, yes, yeah, Spike. He's the spitting image of you. Plain ugly. Uh, uh, look, Spike, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give you a beating just to show my little protege how it's done. Hey, uh, look, he's Cliff. Uh, there's, there's no need for that. I'm sure little Egbert will learn all that in good time. Come on, Uncle Spike. These are cats. Let's cream them. Uh, now, 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 Rocky. Uh, there's no need for violence. You're a chicken. My Uncle Spike is afraid of a cat. This will be a good chance for me to show my kid how to beat up a cat. Get me out of here! Exhibition really is necessary. Isn't necessary? What are you talking about, Egbert? I have no need for the use of fisticuffs. I have a brain. Well, your brain won't help you now, Witchy Cat. I'm gonna make mince meat out of you. Hey, Pussy Cat, what kind of boxing do you call this? It's really quite basic. The laws of velocity and impact when applied to a situation. Now listen up and pay attention. My next target, the milk truck. <laughs> Heathcliff! That takes care of you! Oh yeah? That's what you think. Ah, this should do the trick. <laughs> so... One skylight, and away we go. Come back here. Why, you... Oh, brother, not again. Now, smarty pants, let the king of gourmet trash can dining show you how it's done. First thing you look for is the fresh meat. No old stuff. That's for the dogs. An old fish bone is good. And here we have a half-eaten can of premium cat food. Mmm, delicious. Never get distracted by fruit. Uh, the stuff is simply no good for cats. Here we have a nice bone uh, with some leftover meat on it. Nice for an appetizer. It takes years of experience and study to learn exactly which are the choice trash cans and which are not. If you pay close attention to your Uncle Heathcliff, you'll learn something that took many years to perfect. Now, do you think you've learned anything, Egbert? Huh? Sorry, Uncle Heathcliff. I, I just wasn't paying attention. Kids today. No respect. Now, this time, pay attention. I'm the best mouse-catching cat there ever was, and that's a fact. Now watch and learn from a master of stealth. Gotcha! Huh? Not so fast, pal! Ow! <laughs> Isn't necessary. Isn't necessary? Why? Because you can't do any better. Get that sack out of here. I dare you to top me this time. Please, Uncle Heathcliff, I'd really rather not. But if you insist... I insist. <laughs> okay, Wa. 
wise guy, where's your mouse? Your fancy dancing contraption didn't cut it this time. No one can catch a mouse like the king of the mouses here. I knew you wouldn't. It isn't really that surprising, Uncle Heathcliff. There are many theories relevant to... Heathcliff, you're right on time for our date. And how was your day with little Egbert? Sonia, I just can't go through with it tonight. Can I have a rain check? Goodbye, Uncle Heathcliff. I really had a good time today. Could we do it again next weekend? Please? Man. I'll just never understand them. When you first bring a puppy home, you shouldn't try to train him for the first three weeks. Jump through the hoop, Fido. There should be no scolding or whipping or disciplining during your puppy's first days at its new home. A puppy should get to know the family's personality and lifestyle, and before you know it, you can begin training them. <laughs> Shake. 